An afro to me just represents my own individuality. As my hair grew out, I feel that my confidence also grew. So it's a personal journey of confidence for me and strength. When I was growing up, I feel like there wasn't a lot of natural hair. Now my inspirations for hair are way different. So growing up, I had natural hair, but as I transitioned into middle school, it's kind of like preteen age, you hit puberty and you want to try new things. I convinced my mother to let me straighten my hair. Some of my biggest inspirations for wanting straight hair was the singer Aaliyah and the Maury sisters, Tia and Tamara Maury. I would watch their show all the time and they always had like the best hairstyles. On a monthly basis, I would spend anywhere from 50 to 100 dollars at the Dominican salon that I used to go to. And then it wasn't until after college that I decided to stop perming my hair and I started to see like the new growth, the different texture in my hair. I, I became curious because I hadn't been familiar with that texture in over 10 years. So I just decided to keep growing it out. Thank you. A lot of the times it's a simple like I like your hair or a thumbs up or like you get the black power fist and sometimes people are just like oh my gosh or I'll be crossing the street and I hear people honk the horn and I'm like wait I have the light but then I look at the driver and they're just like we love it. When I saw that there was a record and I saw her hair, I was just amazed at how beautiful and voluminous it was. And then it gave me hope. At that time, I didn't think my hair was anywhere near the size of hers. It was kind of in my earlier stages, but just seeing her hair, like, it really motivated me. Growing up reading Guinness World Records or the book at my grandma's house, like, I don't remember ever seeing a record for Afro, so I was super excited and proud to see it. I had to have two licensed beauticians present. I had to have video evidence of the measurements, photo evidence of the measurements, witnesses, and I had to do all of the measurements three times. So it was a pretty lengthy process to certify the record. Well, the circumference of my afro is four feet, 10 inches. The process for me to take care of my hair, it's fairly simple. A lot of people think it's complex. I wash my hair once a week, sometimes twice a week. In the shower, I use very little shampoo, and then it's mostly conditioner. I use a deep conditioner and normal conditioner, and then I use my detangling brush. So when I'm out of the shower, I put my hair into four twists just to help it stay detangled, and then I apply all the products that I'm using that day. Um, I apply a little bit of oil, a little little bit of gel and then I have a curl enhancing smoothie that helps to define the curls and I twist it again and I let it dry in the twists and drying time varies again based on time of year it could take six hours or 12 hours would say first and foremost you have to go into it with patience. There were times in the beginning where I was so confused about what to do. It was tangled all the time. I would watch YouTube hair tutorials and be so upset when I didn't get the same results that I saw and after a while I just understood that my hair has a mind of its own. Like even today I came out here I shaped my fro perfectly and the wind just took over. So you just have to let your hair do its thing. Have a lot of patience. Moisturize it and understand that your hair is beautiful despite what you might think like it's such a symbol of beauty and learn to love it it's a process it's going to be shaky at first but i promise you that you're going to love it <laughs> 